why is it that so many of my colleagues in physics are not theists? And of course, I think some of the answer has to do with sociological factors. You know, a person's upbringing, their education, their family, of course, has a tremendous impact on what they come to believe about the world. But if we're trying to analyze from an intellectual perspective, what is it that's different about how atheists, and specifically atheistic scientists, versus theists see the world? This is what I'd say. So I think, for the most part, atheists tend to view the world as a mathematical structure, whereas theists tend to view the world as a story. Neither of these is better than the other, because certainly our universe has aspects of both. On the one hand, our universe acts like a mathematical structure. It's governed by these laws of nature, these mathematical equations, that seem to describe reality very well. And especially as a physicist, or more generally as a scientist, this has proven to be an incredibly fruitful way to approach the world. When I go into the office as a theoretical physicist, I think about the world in terms of equations and geometric shapes. And this has been the best way to do science, to think about the world in this way. On the other hand, our universe certainly has aspects of a story. It has time flowing past, which is actually quite incredible from the perspective of the laws of nature. It has characters, people like you and me, interacting in meaningful ways. We can, we, you know, we aren't just self-aware beings which have popped into existence out of nothing. We can actually think rationally and critically about the world. We can make moral choices and judgments. Our world has conflict, like any great story. It has problems. You know, evil, pain, suffering, death. Our universe definitely has problems. So the question becomes, which of these descriptions is more fundamental? Is our world fundamentally a mathematical structure masquerading as a story? Or is it fundamentally a story that's governed by the laws of physics like a mathematical structure? And here's where I'd actually tend to lean slightly more towards the theistic side. Because just about any story that I can imagine has some sort of laws of nature. You know, even the Harry Potter universe is governed by the laws of physics. In fact, the same laws of physics that our universe is governed by, with the addition of some additional laws that describe how magic works. On the other hand, I can't think, at least off the top of my head, of any mathematical structure that gives rise to a world full of intelligent beings with the illusion of time flowing past, where people interact and seem to have moral choices and judgments to make. Not saying it couldn't happen, but this doesn't, just doesn't seem like a typical mathematical structure to me. I would have expected a mathematical structure to probably be more chaotic, perhaps just to have self-aware observers fluctuating into and out of existence, rather than biologically evolved life forms like me and you interacting in such meaningful ways. And indeed, even physicists and scientists, we may think about the world as a mathematical structure, but when we leave the office or the lab, we go out and live the stories of our lives just like anyone else. There is, however, I think one really big issue with viewing the world as a story, which is that our story seems to lack climax and point. You know, humans have evolved, we've lived, someday we're all going to die out, the sun will swallow up the earth, and it seems like there just isn't any sort of point to this story. So our story needs a climax, it needs a point, it needs a resolution, and it needs a protagonist, right? It needs a hero. So when you think about what our world needs, if it is truly a story, then you go look at Jesus and the evidence for Christianity. To me, that's when things start to really make sense. Because when you think about what it is that are, is the problem in our universe, evil, suffering, death, you see that that's exactly what Jesus' mission is all about. His mission to bring the kingdom of God, 
to end suffering, pain, and through his crucifixion and resurrection, most of all, even death. Jesus is exactly the hero that this story needs. And for me, that both intellectually is satisfying in allowing me to view the world as this story, but it's also personally satisfying. Because if I'm being honest, I have no idea rationally how to live my life if I'm living in a mathematical structure. I don't know how to live in that world. But I do know how to live into this story of redemption and restoration. And my faith allows me to live consistently with the worldview that I actually believe.